So here we are with young Teddy, and what we're going to look at are some very simple recalls, as if introducing the recall for the first time. And I would start this recall exercise with the lead on the dog. So let's do it, but we'll just take one step back and then call him to me, and then we can develop it from there. Teddy, good boy, what's he saying? Good, stay, stay, a slight pause, and then come on then, good boy, sit. Oh, good boy. And you can see how relaxed it is. No pressure. It's meant to be fun and enjoyable. What a clever boy. Let's try it again. He likes his food, so it's always an advantage. This way. Here. Good. Sit. Stay. Note the flat hand. Avoid using a finger. Stay. Stay. Come on. Good boy, good boy. You see there, he just started to come almost at the same point I called him. So it tells me that maybe five, seven seconds is the timing he can cope with. In the early stages of developing your puppy's recall, stay relaxed about it. You're really looking just to get those first stages in place. You can gradually extend the distances that you're moving away from the dog. And once you're away from the dog, you can extend the time that you wait there before calling the dog to you. So moving on from a very simple short distance recall with the dog on the lead and we're doing one or two steps away from the dog. Once that's looking nice and settled, we can then do this at a greater distance. So here I have my helper Kate and she's holding Teddy in advance of me calling him. So I'm just going to Give them a shout now, but just take a note also of my body language and tone of voice because these elements are key with the recall. So here we go. Teddy, come on then. Good boy, good boy. Sit. Take the dog by the collar as you feed him because this gives you a little bit of control. So once you've successfully got the dog back to you, you can then encourage your other partner to call the dog in return as well. So we do, this is called a split recall. So, when you're ready, Kate. Teddy, Teddy, come here. Oh, good boy. Good boy. So once you're feeling more confident with your dog's recall in an open space such as your garden, you can then take those skills with you out into open public spaces. Think about finding a quiet corner in a playing field, for example. And then you can test your dog's recall in increasingly difficult situations. So looking even further ahead with the subject of the recall in your young dog, once you find that you're able to come into open playing fields, for example, rather than to let your dog off and simply hope for a good recall, think about using a long training line. Something like 30 to 50 feet, depending on your dog, is a good length. So that each time you call your dog, you can reinforce the recall if necessary by simply guiding the dog back to you using the long training line. It's about showing your dog that each recall means that he has to come back and equally he can't learn to ignore you. Using that simple long line technique can make all the difference when developing the recall with a young dog.